Quirky, fun, and unlike anything you've experienced before, New Orleans is a city full of life and features all sorts of things that make it unique. Whether it's the lively Bourbon Street or the popular voodoo scene, you never know what you're going to find in this bustling Louisiana city. The food scene in New Orleans is no exception either. From vibrant hot dogs to a restaurant made in honor of the famous Mona Lisa painting, the restaurants in New Orleans are among some of the most unique you'll find anywhere. And in this video, we are going to talk about which ones you should check out while in town. Hot dog lovers rejoice. New Orleans has one of the most unique hot dog restaurants out there in Dat Dog. Founded in 2011, this quirky joint went from being just a single 475 square foot hot dog stand to becoming one of the most popular and unique restaurants in all of New Orleans with a devoted following. Featuring some of the finest gourmet sausages, french fries that have taken home awards, delicious local craft beers, and one of the most vibrant environments you'll find, it really doesn't get any better than Dat Dog. The restaurant is critically acclaimed and has some of the best vibes you could ask for. Want something truly unique and unlike anything you've eaten before? Try out the duck sausage hot dog with guac or even the crawfish special. We promise that you've never had hot dogs like they do them at Dat Dog. Just a block away from the ever lively historic Bourbon Street, you'll find the fantastic Mona Lisa restaurant. The Mona Lisa restaurant has been in operation for over 35 years and its atmosphere is as unique and quirky as it gets. They serve wonderful Italian food and the entire restaurant is loaded with Mona Lisa paintings and pictures gifted from the customers that have visited the restaurant over the years. The setting is unlike anything you've seen before and the food is awesome. So make sure you check this gem of a restaurant out while you're in the area. And of course, given its location, feel free to explore the nearby Bourbon Street to grab some drinks or hear some great jazz music. Sometimes all you need to know is the name of a restaurant to know that it's not a run-of-the-mill type of establishment. Such is the case with Sneaky Pickle. This restaurant started off as a small spot with a tiny kitchen. On top of that, the customers were served on picnic tables in the yard outside of the joint. But that distinct character, combined with a creative fusion of vegetables, seeds, and nuts, and offering fantastic vegan and vegetarian foods, made Sneaky Pickle a local hit. Since it opened in 2014, it has grown considerably and only gotten better. The vibes are cozy, and the menu has even more wonderful vegan-friendly options. Plus, the wine is absolutely delicious, with options from Georgia, Slovenia, and even Spain. So grab your wine glass and bring your appetite, because Sneaky Pickle is among the finest and most unique joints you can check out in New Orleans. Louisiana is known as a cultural melting pot, and New Orleans is at the heart of that melting pot. Within that melting pot, you'll find all sorts of amazing foods, traditions, histories, and more. Among the styles of cooking that are an absolute must for visitors to taste is the Louisiana Creole style of cooking, and the best place to try it is Commander's Palace. This restaurant is classy as it is unique. It has won awards for its amazing dishes and for good reason. It's been around since 1893 after all. The story started off with a meal commander who saw great potential in the area for opening a restaurant and throughout the 1900s, Commander's Palace only grew in popularity. And when you visit here, you'll get to enjoy some of the finest dining throughout New Orleans. The history of this restaurant is rich. The chefs cook some of the most amazing food you'll ever try and the wine is among the tastiest you could sip on. Commander's Palace places great value on New Orleans culture as well. They ensure that the food they serve is sourced from places that are within 100 miles of their kitchen, ensuring that you get the freshest meal possible. Plus, every weekend, Commander's Palace hosts unbelievable jazz brunches, keeping the tradition of jazz music alive and well in their fine establishment. Truly, this restaurant must be on your list when visiting New Orleans. It is as unique of a fine dining restaurant you'll experience. 25 cent lunch martinis don't hurt either. A balance of tradition, innovation, and delicious flavors, Shea Restaurant is hands down the best combination of Israeli cooking and Southern flavors you can find in New Orleans. Shea delivers on all fronts. The food is amazing with fresh bread, amazing meats, small plates built for vegetarians. You can't go wrong with anything on their menu. The ambiance is wonderful and as authentic as it gets. Nothing hits the spot better than a nice hearty breakfast. And in New Orleans, the best place for that is biscuits and buns on banks. Their menu is loaded with delicious options. One of the standouts is their French toast, 
which comes with caramelized bananas, powdered sugar, and even grilled watermelon. Yes, you heard that right, grilled watermelon. This breakfast joint has been featured on USA Today's list of 10 best biscuits in the whole country. So make sure you swing by to see what all the fuss is about. If you're looking for some real New Orleans food, or Nolens food as they call it, you'll want to check out Jackie Moe's Cafe, which has been a local favorite since 1996. The story of the restaurant is fascinating. It was opened by Jack Leonardi, who was raised by a French mother and an Italian father who gave him firsthand experience of the delicious cuisine both of those nationalities are known for, particularly their focus on using fresh seasonal ingredients. Jack graduated from the Coast Guard Academy and was stationed in New Orleans, and he absolutely fell in love with the city. Jack started working a minimum wage job for a popular chef in town and eventually set the wheels in motion for opening the Jackie Moe's Cafe that New Orleans residents know and love today. Jack is as animated as restaurant owners come, and he is still very involved in his restaurant today as he strolls around and entertains his guests while they munch on delicious Creole soul food. The restaurant is open Wednesday through Saturday and reservations fill up quickly, so make sure you book a spot in advance. It's well worth it. Imagine a restaurant that comes up with a new and unique menu each and every day. If you don't think that's possible, go check out Sui Generis, which has been doing this every week since March of 2012. The restaurant claims that they are energized by creativity in keeping their ingredients and concepts for crafting delicious food fresh. They experiment in just about every way you can imagine, and it's simply awesome. They even have their own farm where they get the ingredients for that food they'll cook up for you. It may be a perky pickle plate or grilled octopus. Make sure you stop by and see what's on the menu and expect the unexpected from this one-of-a-kind restaurant. It's real food done real good at this next quirky New Orleans restaurant. Elizabeth's has been living by this slogan since its inception. Everything at this restaurant is made from scratch, from burgers to seafood dishes and everything in between. The charm and great taste you'll find at Elizabeth's is among the best of the best the atmosphere is low-key and cozy, and this place is a great spot to grab a nice lunch any day of the week. A blend of live music, small-town restaurant vibes, and an ever-lively sports bar, the River Shack Tavern is an awesome place to have a great meal and a great time while in New Orleans. This restaurant stands out for its unique memorabilia, tacky ashtrays, and famous bar legs. It's been described as being the most unusual bar in New Orleans and is truly a place that you have to see to believe. It has a storied past as well. The spot was once a grocery store, a packaged liquor store, and even a pharmacy. The tacky ashtrays you'll find at the shack are actually gifts from customers. The way it works is if you bring in your own tacky ashtray, you can trade it in for a drink of the restaurant's choice. So make sure you bring one with you. New Orleans is a city full of twists and turns and things that you just have to see to believe. And their cuisine is definitely no exception. So when you come on down to the center of Louisiana culture, make sure you bring your appetite and are ready to explore all the fun and unique restaurants that await you.